okay in this video I'm gonna finish up my trailer series we're building my my little stock trailer into more of a a mobile hunting camp where I got my solar system inside of it so I can charge my collars and I have some lights and then also a little place to store my saddles and my gear I'm making this video editing this video the we finished the trailer up quite a while ago and I've been hunting ever since so this is kind of the to set it up for this hunting season I'm gonna try to edit a video every week of the week of my hunting I've been up here it's close to the house it's easy for me I can be up there and out and I had some guys come down and hunt with me I had a lady come out and hunt with me but yeah I want to get this started off and try to keep it in some kind of chronological order so it's week by week I'll be hunting 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 the one thing you need to know is I'm not gonna I won't sugarcoat anything and I ain't gonna BS anybody what you see is what you get if you guys are interested let me know in the comments below about having a live question and answer or, or a recap or whatever uh, on Monday nights I don't know I'm in mountain standard time so usually around six o'clock is the best time for me so let me know in the comments oh also if you're interested in the solar system I put in my trailer here, send me an email. I, I, I'll have a, a link. Well, on my channel, there's a link somewhere to my email, but I'll also put it in the description below on this video. Shoot me an email and I, can, I, I will send you a copy of the schematic and then also the parts list of what I built and how much it costs. What I built, it's overbuilt for what I do, but after living up in the mountains and being off grid for a while like I was, I don't want to run out of power, so I oversized it. I want to be able to keep all my camera batteries charged, uh, you know, everything else I need charged, plus my collars, my tracking collars for my hounds charged. So yeah, I, if, if you're interested in that, just send me an email and uh, I'll, get, I'll get all that information and send it back to you. Comment, like, subscribe. What else? Crush that like button. What else is there? That's it. Just, if you like it, like it, you know. Watch it, watch my other videos. There you go. Thanks, guys. What were you doing, 24? 24 inch. We're gonna make saddle rack for the inside of the trailer. I want it to be able to hold two riding saddles and a pack saddle. I think a foot between the saddles, but then the, the pack saddle can go on the very bottom because it doesn't have any stirrups. So you can just fold the cinches over the top. It, it only, you know, it doesn't take up as much room. The top ones need, need more room, but we'll show you. Danny, the master fabricators here. Maker. Doesn't everybody have a more maker? Unboxing video here. Diagram showing how to hook it all up. This is the inverter. Man, it's heavier than I thought it would be. Block mounting hardware. This is the charge controller. Pretty much what I'd had before at my camp. 
Oh, this is like a breaker box. Big baby box. Looks right there. Brackets. Breakers. So cable number 12. Now all I'm waiting for is my solar panel. Wow, that inverter cost. It is hot out here. Four toggle switches and a cigarette lighter deal, right? Mm -hmm. And then this, I think this tells voltage. voltage of the batteries. It's the inverter. That's the charge controller. These come in from the solar panel into the charge controller. And then these go out into the breaker box and then go down to the batteries. Two six volt batteries in a series to make 12 volt. Uh, these are golf cart batteries, Duracell of all things. And then your breaker switch here. This one is for this AC power strip that I put in and it powers my USB charger deal that I got this from W Supply and it has all my cords in it. I need to, I need to extend these up. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, looks good, Danny. So one of these powers a power strip. One of them's for the for the solar panels. The big one's for the uh, inverter. Well, I say it powers the it powers the inverter, and the inverter powers the solar or the power strip. And then one's going to be for the 12 volt load. So it'll come out and go over go into that box that Danny's building with our switches and then it'll come, the switches will come out and go to the light. So here's the saddle rack we put in. It's just the, the four inch, no, it's not four inch. What size tubing is that? That's two and a half. Anyway, so it holds the saddles. And I still have to build some shelves up in here. I'm gonna build one shelf here and then one shelf right below that. And then I'll have all the room underneath. Custom made, Jack, but custom trailer builds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. My end light ended up not working back there. It's one of these. I got it off of Amazon, but I can send it back. Amazon's good about taking stuff back that don't work. 